Hi everyone, today I'm going to review a bunch of products that's been sent to me from a local brand called Urban Essentials and this is the box that it came with look at that, it's very nice and simple with the lovely Urban Essentials sticker on it and inside, it looks like this Ooh, look at all these pretty roses and the stuffing and the lovely natural hay I really love the, the aesthetic of these products and I've actually been using these products for a month and I still kept them in, in this box because I just love the experience when I open the box and it just feels like I am being gifted every day. So the reason why this video took so long to make and why it took so long for me to review these products is because my skin hasn't been recovering since 2020. It's been like, oh, it's, it used to be super oily and it's like breakouts everywhere. So I just cannot determine like whether the product is making it like that or is this, is it just my stress levels that is going like making my body go out of whack so that's why I decided to like you know just keep continue using it and try to calm myself down so that it won't affect the results so now I feel like I am in a more confident place uh, with my skin I think it's kind of like stabilized now it's back to its normal dry self uh, before that it was super oily like especially the t-zone area is like breaking out like crazy like as you can see if the camera was zoom if you can see that there's like some pimple marks like all those recovering marks from the from the breakouts that I've been having I've been having a lot of breakouts on like the forehead even like on the side of my cheeks look at that I've never had a lot of pimples in my entire life and I also had some recovering one here so let me show you what are the products that I've been reviewing so first up is the Urban Essentials Neroli and Lavender Mist so this is for face and body and it is made with distilled water Neroli and Lavender Hydrosol Witch Hazel Vegetable Glycerin Aloe Vera Vitamin E and Essential Oils when it's used on the face you just use it after cleansing your face follow up with a moisturizer and when you use it on the body you just spray it as often as you like on your body so I'm going to read the claims of this Neroli and Lavender Mist so the Neroli and Lavender Mist is suitable for pimples and pigmentation so this one contains witch hazel Neroli, Hydrosol and Vitamin E and some of the beneficial oils and essential oils so now I'm going to talk to you about this next product called the lavender rich hydrate the lavender rich hydrating face cream so this is made with aloe vera distilled water lavender hydrosol almond oil glycerin rose hip seed oil settle alcohol emulsifying wax vitamin b5 hyaluronic acid cucumber extract natural preservative and essential oils so what you do is you apply it on your face and throat after you cleanse your face and you can use it both at day and night time it has a lot of soothing ingredients like lavender, hydrosol, cucumber extract and it also has B5 and hyaluronic acid for the moisture and hydration lightweight and hydrating can be used day and night or just for the day no hard and fast rules with natural creams so this is a really nice cream you can see like the bottle is really aesthetic I like the whole aesthetic of these products here it's just very simple very minimalist so this is a top here it, could, it just says Urban Essentials Artisan Artisan Skincare Handmade with Love like the bottle is really nice it's sturdy I like the bottle it's like made of glass and then there's a top here where you can pull out to make sure that your creams aren't spilling out if they do uh, yeah so inside it looks a little bit empty because I've been using this a lot like both day and night and I really like the texture of it it smells like lavender of course and it's really lightweight look at that it's really nice and soft after wiping off my makeup my skin does get a little bit irritated and a bit stingy if I not too careful so this one really calms my skin down together with the narrow light and lavender mist and I do feel like it's a little bit heavy for daytime for me because in the daytime if my forehead still gets a little bit too oily so if I put like a lot like the same amount I put it on my face because my skin was like like kind of experiencing a combination skin for a while 
So I put more on the like the cheeks, the chin, the nose, the parts where it's less oily. It's just sitting on top like too shiny and all that. So I just put a little bit like a sweep on it and it does seem to look like it is balancing quite well. So all this combination of ingredients such as the witch hazel, aloe vera, vitamin E, vitamin B5, and hyaluronic acid and cucumber extract. So all these ingredients in here make a very good team working together because A, they both help hydrate the skin. So vitamin B5 it kind of acts like a humectant so it provides hydration for your skin. And also the witch hazel, aloe vera, vitamin E and cucumber extract, they're really good at calming irritations on the skin. And the vitamin E really helps in reducing pigmentation and also help making your skin look younger. So the next product we have here is called the Eye Spa with Hyaluronic Acid and Green Tea. So this is made with distilled water, prickly pear oil, vegetable glycerin, vitamin B5, green tea extract, allantoin, hyaluronic acid, and natural preservative. So what you do is you press a small amount onto the tip of your ring finger and apply sparingly around the eye area, avoiding the eyes. Use a gentle patting motion. You can use it both day and night and it's for all skin types. And I've been using this quite religiously for day and night. I do find the bottle however is a little bit hard to squeeze because it kind of squeezes out too much but I did read a post from the founder that she said that she will be changing the bottles later on so you don't have to worry about over wastage of product. I do feel like it's really suitable for nighttime especially because it's super hydrating and especially when we are sleeping in air conditioned rooms our skin loses moisture by the time we wake up so this is really good for the under eye care and I do find like it does help in reducing a bit of the fine lines like can you see yeah I do find it helps uh, plumping up my fine lines out and I did try to apply it over makeup but I think it's a little bit too thick for makeup application so when I try to apply concealer on top and then when I try to pat it 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 just removes the makeup so I can't use it for uh, makeup use but whenever I'm not wearing makeup it's definitely very nice and it's very cooling to the touch so I like the cooling sensation of the eye cream on my eyes and I do like a little bit padding motion with the ring finger just to make sure it absorbed perfectly into the skin so all this combination of ingredients such as the prickly pear oil the vitamin B5, allantoin, and as well as hyaluronic acid really works together in terms of helping the skin well hydrated, also preventing environmental damage on the skin. So I really like this product, it's like literally my go-to nighttime uh, product. I cannot really describe the smell but it's just a little bit lightly scented but it's really nice. So I also have another surprise product which is the Hydrating Rose Mist. I've been using this for a while and this was like the first product from the Urban Essentials that I've used. Uh, ever since I tried all the rose scented stuff, I was like, okay, let me have it because I love myself some rose stuff. So this is the first thing that I bought from them and it smells so amazing. So if you love rose scents like me, you definitely love this mist a lot because it smells so, so good. Oh my god, I just cannot stop smelling it. Almost run out of the mist. I'm really really sad right now. So this is really good. Uh, I bought it when I had very very dry skin. So this is really good at hydrating the skin. So this product contains distilled water, pure rose water, aloe vera, rose hip, seed oil, vitamin E, and essential oils. This one is really good for on the go when your skin is very dry and it because it's very hydrating because of the aloe vera, rose water, and vitamin E. So I like to put it in my bag and just spray it on my face whenever I want. Wait, let me spray once because just cause, you know. Yeah, I'm so sad, it's almost out. Uh, yeah, so I really like this scent a lot. So I need to refill one of these later on because it's one of my favorites. So that is all for my review of the Urban Essential skincare. And I really highly recommend it because one, it's made of natural ingredients. And two, it just smells so damn good, y'all. And three, it really works for the skin. Like for all skin types, 
yes, I would agree because it's really nice and it's really calming for the skin, especially if you have irritated skin. So I highly recommend you pick up one of these sets, uh, the one with the narrow lie lavender mist and the rich, the lavender rich hydrating face cream. So if your skin is really irritated, you can definitely go for these sets. Like look at how glowing my skin looks after using these products for about a month. Yeah, so if I do like follow a proper routine, <laughs> like sleeping early and eating healthily, I think my skin will look even better. But this is the best I got. Like I'm not mad at all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later on my next review. Bye!